Today, we go for the red cubes. We've got the blue cubes, we need the red cubes. Because there's still a lot of suns out there for us to conquer. And a lot of planets in our solar system too. Ooh, that makes me dizzy. Let's not do that again. Now, last time we played, we did get the recipe for energy matrices, which are kind of like electromagnetic matrices, but, you know, red. And they require hydrogen and energetic graphite, which is just like coal, but squishied. Hydrogen is a little bit tougher to get because we need to pull it out of the ground, and that takes a lot of work. So let's get started. In our last attempt, we did a lot of research and didn't really touch on it. So let's go through it quickly together. We have solar panels. We have thermal power, which is for coal and, you know, things that destroy the environment. We've now also got Sorters Mark II, so they're twice as fast as the originals. And we have all these new things, water pumps, oil extractors, oil refineries, and storage tanks. We also have chemical plants, which I've never used before. We're doing all this because most of the next set of upgrades requires the red cubes. So if we want, for example, high efficiency logistics systems for those big, fast conveyor belts, then we need red cubes. Same for titanium smelting and crystal smelting and the next part in the main quest line and this and this and this and even all this stuff that we can't even look at yet. But everything requires some sort of combination of red and or blue cubes. There's also this accelerant mark one. It's a work in progress. So this game is still in beta development. So we'll come back to this eventually. Overall, lots to do. Lots and lots and lots to do. But I think we're about 25% done, at least in terms of the skill trees. Oh, right, and we have all these new things as well. We've got plasma refining, which we can't make in the replicator. We've got plastic, which we can't make in the replicator. We've got graphene, same thing. And advanced graphene, which is just graphene, but with a little symbol on the side. Sulfuric acid, we can do silicon, kind of, which we then use, I think, in one of these things. Yes, right here, assemblers for the... The, uh, the, 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 these things, yes, these, yes, which we then make into these, which we use for something later in the game. And we can start terraforming too once we get steel. So on the table, we'll make some electric motors to start, we'll get a steel production unit set up, and then we'll be pretty good to go. We'll have to figure out some way to get silicon because there isn't any on this planet, so we have to derive it from, I believe it's stone. Thankfully, we have stone set up all the way over here. And we can feed new belt stuff into it, I think. You know what? It might be better just to do stuff over here because we still have this stone reserve that we haven't touched and we have three coal reserves. Only thing we're missing is, mm, we need a bit of iron, I think. Because our current iron supply is very depleted. Let's just do a little bit of a fly around. Get that morning sun look. There's some crude oil seep. We're gonna need those as well. So we got a nice little cluster over here. Still no iron. There's a little bit right over there. 300,000. Not really the amount we need, but lots of crude oil over here. And we're out of energy. Time to crash. So it looks like this side's pretty good, but we'll have to get some iron over to it. I think that'll be job number one. We'll set up the iron so that it can kind of like do its cross-continent trek, and then we can set up the stone and crude oil and coal production. I have to walk back because I am literally out of energy. Yep, that was it. That's all I've got. Oh, we've also got this, the wireless power tower. Let's create one of those because these are super useful. I don't want to put it on a very high power area though. So you put it onto your grid and it sucks the juice right out of it and it you fills your bar. Wireless power tower. I built Which a wireless power tower. Distance. Problem is that it uses a lot of power. Like, look at that. It's it's not doing very well right now. So we're going to have to set up a little bit more power. There we go. That should be enough to power this thing. So we can do a lot of work in this area without issue. We'll set up... Oh, I think we start here. Yep. Let's just set up this. So we've got extra storage. And I think I'll want to use... We can still use the normal sorters for this, actually. Let's make a whole bunch because eventually we're going to need them for the Sorter Mark IIs. It always takes the last component, plus some sort of special new component. There we go. You have done building the first power transmission facility. Uh, this is not my first! Tesla Tower. Hush, you carry out go away. I think I'll turn off the research as well, so these will eventually grind to a halt, and then we'll start having a bit of a supply of 
processors and coils instead of just, you know, burning them all into blue cubes. I don't mind if the belt is full. I'll just let it happen. It's, it's all good. What are we at? 53,000? Okay, so we've got like... an hour. <laughs> and then we're out of copper. Better start working. Okay. Alright, let's connect all these together. So if this is where we're making steel, which if I remember correctly, that's what we need. Yes, we need steel for hydrogen because we need to make oil facilities and stuff. So if we're making steel, we need to first make iron into bars, and then we recook it basically into steel. Let's get the power set up. We'll do another turbine nation. Go my little drones. There we go. That should be enough power. Belt is ready, so let's start smelting. So to make steel, it takes three iron. So this is gonna burn through all of the iron really quickly. Copy the recipe, paste, 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 paste. And we wanna pull off the belt as fast as possible to fill these up as fast as possible. What we might find is that this belt can't get to the end of the line because everything else kind of like chews up all the resources like this. So we can change up the belt so that it's two lines instead of one. So we'll have a second belt that comes across about here and in. And these two lines can feed this side. And this little bit right here can supplement the end of the line. So now they're all working. Hopefully we'll set one up every three. Set up the Tesla tower. We'll make small, short lines. So now it'll take three iron to make one steel, and then three iron to make one steel, and three iron to make one steel. So this should be completely self-sufficient. Hopefully. I hope. And for now, we'll just put a little storage unit over here. That way I can go do other things, and it can start filling up. Oh, we've got more wind turbines. Turbine Nation. There we go. Go our first steel. One over here. Slap it into storage. Beautiful. Beautiful. I need 120 of this for my next research. And then I can have extra inventory space, which is huge. There we go. A little bit more steel production. Do I have 120 yet? Yes. Okay, cool. So now we can get extra inventory space. Very nice. That's huge. You don't know how huge that is. It's massive. Now over here, there's some really nice crude oil seeps. There's one here, and there's one over there, and there's one over there. All around three per second. I don't know what the unit is, but, you know, three is bigger than two, which means it's it's better. So we're going to take it. For now, we're just going to feed this iron over, use up all of our reserve fuel. All right, so that will help steel production. Now we've got two iron veins feeding that. So I think we're good for steel production now. I think I'll actually have to expand my storage a little bit. So now we have steel set up. Lots of steel. So the only other thing that I really want to get set up before we move on to red cube production is silicon. So let's take, I don't know, a couple hundred stone or steel with us. And we'll just let this kind of do its thing. Pretty happy with this. A solid setup. We've got 42k iron left over here, which is a little frightening. And we're looking at... Oh, we are starving them. Okay. Maybe I need to figure out a different belt setup. Or <laughs> I could just connect these like a normal person. I should also probably figure out a way to 
automate gears because it's literally just one iron turns into one gear and every single time I want to make a belt I have to make it myself and it just ugh I should have all of this automated eventually maybe next episode I'll do all the little things like these gears and maybe these prisms all right now that that side quest is done let's fix this We did upgrade our coal, but we never actually connected it. Now these won't be used for a while, and this, these 24 veins over here definitely won't be used for a while. But having the extra 1 million kind of just sitting on the belt, that'll help us kind of future-proof our design a little bit. Because eventually this one will run out. Let's just run all of these over here. So then this one over here feeds our coal generators and you know, storage system. This one over here feeds our graphite production. Very nice, I like that setup. So, progress report. We have this, we still don't have any hydrogen, but now we can make oil extractors. Kind of. Still need these things, which take prisms. Oh! <laughs> no! Okay. Okay. Stone it is. <laughs> I thought this was going to be one and done, and then we're finished, and we can move on with our day. No, no, no. This game had different plans. You know, we should probably actually just make a stone smelter as well. Mm, so many things that we should probably do. I just realized that you can make almost every building. Scratch that. You can make every building in an assembler. So if I wanted to, I could make an entire island just full of resources ready to build other things and then every time I need a I don't know a stack of conveyor belts I just go to the island Ooh, that is a big project for a different day for now we're just <laughs> we're just gonna start with this All right, so now we've got prisms, we've got silicon. I think that's everything. Let's check our components list. So we can make this, we can make this, we can make this, we can make this, and this. 
Can't make sulfuric acid yet, but we don't really need to make that yet. We've got prisms, we can make glass. Am I storing in the glass anywhere? Or am I just, I'm, I'm literally just shipping it into prisms. So I might need to change that in the future. Let's, let's set up like a little... The equivalent of an overflow system, but for glass. So when I have enough prisms to fill these two, then I'll say that I don't need any more replicated, and we can start making glass off the assembly line instead. That's a good way to do it. I like that. And I can always make more glass later. But that's it for today. Next time, we tackle the final piece of the red cube puzzle, oil extraction. Hope to see you then.